a completely PC-free method to recover our device. What are we going to do to gain access and recover it? The first thing we're going to do is watch a step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'll skip ahead, since we won't be using a PC in this video tutorial. A method that is completely accessible to anyone. What is it that we, ah, uh, well, first of all. As we can see here, we have that little padlock. Well, the first thing we did was reset our phone. We formatted it at the time our phone started up correctly, it got locked. It now lets us pass to where that block appears, where it tells us that. We have the same screen lock and finally the Google account. The forgotten Gmail account, how are we going to be able to recover this device? The first thing we're going to do is connect, what? It is to a Wi-Fi network to begin the recovery process. Let's connect to our network, we'll connect, we'll click here. We click next, here we're going to connect, well, we're connecting to a network. Now we're going to take it all the way around until we get to where it appears. That screen lock we had from the beginning before. To set up our phone when we format it, we come back. To connect to our network and it still comes up again. Same screen lock. What we are not going to do in this video tutorial is not to go into. We're not going to enter either because of the calendar, because the Sinchar is blocked with. We called the PIN code, we called emergency call and from there Google came up. And we can go in. No, we're not going to use that method anymore. We are not going to use that process under any circumstances. We're going to use a completely different method. An updated method. We're not going to use that option where YouTube appears either. Update YouTube now, those options where it says we entered through. YouTube already lets us proceed from there, but it does let us enter. A method that we have brought here a little updated where we. We're going to explain step by step what you have to do and how you'll be able to. Recover those devices. Here we have the screen lock, here we have what it means to use it. My Google account, we click here, it tells us that this is good. This method works for those people who suddenly didn't know how. On that screen lock, but they do remember the email. You can add it here. They click next. They add that password and from there it would give you what? It's easy and quick access to your device. without needing to watch the entire video tutorial. You can do it this way, by adding the blog, email, and password. The alternative would be this, if you don't have the email. It gives you the option to add your phone number. Add your phone number if you have one. You click next, but it has to be on a phone that isn't locked. On an unlocked phone, enter the number here, it will arrive, then click next. You will receive a recovery code, add it here. You click next and it will give you access to configure it. An easy and quick way without needing to watch the video tutorial to the end. But let's say none of these options appear for you. So what you're going to do here is where it says forget Gmail. Let's write anything here, then we'll click next. We do the same thing here, and down here we do the same thing too. We'll click next now. Next, 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 we're going to do this for a minute and a half. When we reach that minute and a half, we will begin the recovery process. Let's do it, as we've told you. Okay, another thing I want to mention is in the video description. And in the first pinned comment we have other, completely different methods. Updated methods for those who want to recover. We have left a PC method and a non-PC method on your device. Description of that video. Then we click here when that's over. A minute and a half later we go back. 
Let's wait. This would help us enable one more feature. We will need the following information to recover our devices. This would help us, as we had told you. Enable a function that would give us access to recover our phone. Having said all that, what we're going to do now is go back to the previous point. We go back, back, back and back, we go back. Previously, we entered through here and it gave us access to certain functions. This method already lets us in this way, but we're going to use the first option. We'll enter using this method. We're going to go down and we'll find some green letters here. Here we go, let's find them, let's select it. Then we'll go down and find a URL from here that says https colon slash slash. Let's select it and from here it would take us to this. Now what we're going to do is click here where it says, use a Google account. Let's try it again, using a Google account. Here we're going to select this option down here on the lower left side. We're going to help you, while you're here, we'll select this letter and the magnifying glass. Let's select these options. It was marked here, and we're going to click here. In the share section, we will select this message option. Click here where it says, new message. Here we'll write anything, we select. Now we're going to click on the little camera icon, take a picture, and then click here to attach it. We select the image, click here on share, and Google Maps will appear. Let's select Google Maps, and then click here on, skip. We click on all the permissions, then we click on cancel. We click here on the X, yes. And we would be left directly here with what is Google Maps, being here in Google Maps. Now what we're going to do is click on the little ball, we click on this little ball. We'll go here to settings and activate notifications. We return notifications that are already enabled. We activate location, we enable accessibility settings. And here we click where it says Google Location Settings, here we go. Selecting all doesn't show anything, it's been like that for a minute and a half. Given here in this option we are going to click here on it says More Show System. Google Play Service and we disable these Google Play Services, we disable them. Now that it's disabled, let's restart our device. Now what we're going to do is wait for our phone. Restart completely to then complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so you don't. So you don't miss any details and can fix your device right away. In an easy and quick way, we'll wait for our phone to start up and then. We are going to complete this recovery process for those. People, it's great that when we arrive, our device will be fully ready. I'm recovered, I'll explain. Because our phone still has some errors, how do we fix those errors? Okay, after watching the video tutorial to the end, I'll explain how you're going to eliminate those errors. We're going to click on the little arrow. We'll click here. The little arrow again would take us here to this section. We'll wait a few seconds until it takes us here. Here's the option that's flashing. The screen and tells us, just a moment, searching for updates. We'll arrive soon, let's wait here. In some cases, it often happens suddenly. It won't take you to that option. What you need to do is disconnect the Wi-Fi network. 
and turning it back on disconnects it, you click next, then skip it gives you the option. If the screen starts flickering, then you go back to the home screen. Sorry, the network, we'll wait for Wi-Fi. Here, sometimes it doesn't happen, it usually takes a while. Let's wait a few more seconds, we'll wait. We waited a few seconds until to be able to recover our device in an easy and quick way. You can see that this tends to go out of fashion, so what they do is go back, they click back. We've arrived here, we're back to the first option. We'll wait a few seconds, it's a bit slow, let's go into the first green letters. We click on the green letters. Now we're going downstairs and going inside. Here at the URL we had entered. We enter the URL. Click here to sign in with a Google account. We're going into help here, sorry, and here we're going to enter this option. We do the same, we click on share. Let's select Gmail, we select Gmail, we click on skip. We click enable, we enable it, then we click back. Backwards, backwards. We go back and back until we reach the top again. Here we go forward now, we go forward, we go here to jump. We click here, we're going to delete the Wi-Fi network. We're going to delete that network. I'm going to cover this up so I can't see the IPs. Now that we have no input, we'll click here to skip. This takes us to Google services. We click accept. We click on skip. We'll wait here. We click on next, next. Next, we're going to click finish here like this. We will be able to recover our device easily and quickly without need, without so many complications. As we can see, this has already taken us directly to the beginning. What are we going to do to be able to? To correct all those errors that remain on our phone. To correct these errors, what we're going to do is make adjustments. Then in settings we go to about phone and then we tap on reset. When our phone, completely fell off. We would end up with a device free of any errors, without so many complications. When you reset, what we're going to do is configure. Configure it normally and that would be all for this video tutorial.